Hey everybody, it's Valley Williams and we are talking real estate, not just in San Diego, but all of Southern California. I have a good friend here, Cornelius, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be on the show, on the show and back in sunny San Diego. It's amazing, yeah. great day. Welcome back, we brought a heat wave for you. Yes. And yeah. you are, you you live in Irvine. You know, we talked about he knows the IE. <laughs> and he, you also grew up in San Diego. So you can yes. kind of, you know, kind of all of Southern San Diego, right? You kind of service the whole area? Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. So um, grew up in San Diego, Southeast San Diego, in Canto area, went to Morris High School and Point Loma High School. Um, and from there, you know, I moved up to the IE and eventually found my way in Irvine to open my real estate office there. Nice. And you're a broker owner. Yes. Um, broker owner. However, the last uh, three weeks, you know, just joined EXP. So I'm still broker owner of my current location. Uh -huh. But I'm in the process of getting my office approved as a branch office through EXP. EXP. Yeah. yeah. And that's the new wave of real <laughs> estate. A lot of people are moving to EXP. Mm -hmm. My marketing and real, real estate partners, they just okay. moved to EXP. Awesome. Um, a lot of our agents work for EXP. Okay. There's different reasons for it, but I heard that you have like a little special um, additive to your qualifications. What are the things that you're, um, you specialize in? Yes. Yeah, so for myself, as far as my specialty is, one is REO, which is real estate owned. I'm actually a NRBA, National REO Broker Association member. Mm. Um, so that helps me as far as when I'm dealing with my asset managers mm -hmm. and just people that may be facing pre foreclosures because I understand what the bank is looking for. So I'm able to guide them on mm -hmm. how to possibly save their house. Mm -hmm. And if we can't save their house. I'm just real with the person like, hey, look, you're better off selling. Mm -hmm. You get the equity opposed to having the bank take the equity. Right. So that's uh, one of my main niches there. What is the Glide program you talked about? Yeah, so um, the Glide programs, actually, I just received my certification from Luxury Home Marketing um, Luxury Home Marketing program for selling multi-million dollar homes. So I am a specialist for selling million dollar properties mm -hmm. or just dealing with very successful entrepreneurs. So if you're a successful entrepreneur looking to purchase a million dollar property or multi-million dollar property, um, I can help you navigate that process with either selling the property or purchasing one. Okay. And there's a, there's a lot of people in the Inland Empire that have you know, million dollar properties mm -hmm. and they just don't necessarily have the agent to contact that has the expertise on how to market their property correctly. Yeah, and I know, personally, I know some, I know somebody that was in the entertainment industry that mm -hmm. bought in Riverside. Okay. Um, just because of price and quality of life versus living in like LA and or the suburbs of LA, they could buy a bigger, cheaper home and they, they worked remotely and that's what mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing right now, right? They're working from home, so yes. it made sense sense for them to to buy a, a million dollar home in Riverside so aside from knowing um, you know the higher end market mm -hmm. you are you know a little bit about marketing in general right yes no for sure uh, marketing is the key mm -hmm. so whenever I talk to a seller you know most agents they're doing a listing presentation or mm -hmm. a listing consultation where in reality you're doing a marketing consultation that's right you know, and that and that's what it is, is to show them this is how I'm going to market your property. This is how I'm going to get you the most value out of your home. Because what do you do if you have two homes on the same street that's for sale mm -hmm. and you could say that's identical? How are you going to have that house stick out over the next or how are you going to draw more traffic? Mm -hmm. And that's really where the expertise comes in. To, to, to know the, the secrets. And actually, mm -hmm. I'll tell you one of the secrets. I was going to ask yeah. you, so I'm so glad you brought it up. I was going to ask you, yeah. like, don't give us all the goods, but yeah. give us a little give us a little taste. So, so I'll tell you one secret that I do. One thing I do is I incentivize the buyer's agent. Uh -huh. So I have this conversation with the seller up front that you have two houses on the, on the street for sale. Mm -hmm. What are you going to get to have other agents look at your house? We give them more commission. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Like, most agents... Right now, it's kind of weird on the market. What I'm seeing now is it appears that the normal commission is at like 2% now, yeah. which is which is insane. I uh, see agents, right, offers like, I'm like, why are you doing that? We yeah. can get your 5.5% uh, is not a lot. Yeah, no. It's, it's, and if a lot of times people are in contract to give the buyer's agent point. 2.5 for the most yeah. part was like the, like the basic. <laughs> so if you're giving them, what, three? 
No, well, so technically, depending on where the house is at mm -hmm. and the marketing strategy and the competition, we do in some cases offer 4% oh, wow. to the buyer's agent. So it'd either be 4%, mm -hmm. otherwise we'll go down to three. It just depends on what's going on in I'm that gonna particular go, market. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna go find your <laughs> listings. <laughs> Cause you get a little bit more and a little extra and it helps um, sell the house faster. It's, exactly, and the key is, if I'm giving the buyer's agent 4%, mm -hmm. you see how exciting they get and they end up coming to your yeah, side. Yeah, no, they'll give you they whatever you they want. It. you want. What do you want? You want no termite? Okay, no termite, yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> they will <end> up, <laughs> we'll help you out a little bit. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I like that. Do you, what do you think your strengths are besides marketing, besides Glide, besides mm -hmm. um, having EXP and those tools mm -hmm. in your back pocket? Because we know EXP has a lot of different uh, qualities. What do you think is another strength of yours? Another strength is more just, you know, I put myself in the client's shoes mm. and I like to be realistic with them. And I tell them like, hey, you know what? I wouldn't live here. Mm. Yeah, I just wouldn't live here either. Either the dog got on my nerves already. I mm -hmm. wouldn't live here. You know, I just kind of throw that approach. Mm -hmm. But I let the client ultimately decide. And one thing I have them do is like, hey, drive past the house first. I want mm -hmm. you to see if it's meaningful. Yeah. So I really try to be in tune with my client mm. to what they're looking for. Get to know them on a deep yeah, level. Yeah, as far as the aesthetics of mm -hmm. the house or, you know, do they have to have, you know, a master face in the backyard or overlooking the ocean, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. I just want to find that key What point. that is, yeah. Yes. I like that. So you really relate to your clients. Yes, no, for sure. Well, yeah. he is definitely fun to be around. <laughs> I, I enjoy your energy. I enjoy you sitting here and sharing with us the little unique things and having these little certifications. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of agents don't have and it's important to know that and note mm. and draw attention to the fact that you've taken the time to educate yourself mm. and to pay mm -hmm. that extra you know it costs money and time yes. to get those certifications so that you are qualified and have in, and you can represent these people right. yes no a hundred percent and one thing I like to add is you know in real estate like I live eat breathe and sleep real estate so when I'm out there and I'm you know in the course dealing with a seller or a buyer is something that I practice behind doors, yeah. right? And a lot of agents, they don't practice real estate. They wait until they're in front of their client to practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're like, oh, now I gotta, I gotta get ready. Like you just, you stay ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. <laughs> that's right. You know, that's it, so that's uh I appreciate I that. Up. Yeah, I can relate to that, <laughs> definitely. Well, thank you for being here awesome. and bringing that to our audience and thank you guys all so much for watching.